Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in raw data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limit regarding cities with completed trades using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Robin Hood interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you are given the tables below containing information on Robin Hood trades and users. Write a query to list the top three cities that have the most completed trade orders in descending order. Output the city and the number of orders. So the trades table has basically six different columns. Order ID, user ID, price, quantity, status, timestamp and status column has completed or cancelled string. This is an example of that, right? And then there is another table, users, with four different columns, user ID, city, email, and sign up date. So basically the completed or canceled status is in this table trades, but you only have user ID information in this. To know the cities, you need to join the users table, right? And get the cities. And here is another example. So here, if you look at it, right? So user ID, triple one, one, seven, eight, and 300, all three belong to San Francisco, right? So triple one completed one, one, seven, eight completed two and 300 completed three. So San Francisco has the maximum number, right? So San Francisco should be in the top and then second state city, third city, etc. right? So that is what you have in the output as well. So basically, since the information is spread in two different tables, the first thing we should do is we should join them, right? So from this table called trades, alias as T, let me left to join the table called users, alias as U, on T dot T dot user ID is equal to U dot user ID. So now once you have this, then we are only concerned about completed trades, right? So we need to make sure that after joining, you need to make sure we are only keeping those rows where status is completed. So we write where status is a column in trades table. So we write T dot status is equal to completed, right? Once you have this, then like after joining you have the different columns from users table right this user id city as well and then after doing a where clause we are only keeping those rows where the trade is completed and now you can group by this that column right u dot city and return the u dot city and count the number of trades right so we can do hey group by u dot city return u dot city right because you need that in the output as well right you need city and then the total orders so total orders is basically for group if you group by u dot city and you count star that is going to be the number of total orders so alias as total orders right and since we need to only keep the top three in descending manner of total orders right so we write order by total orders in descending manner and then limit it to three right now here we are using the limit there is another way to do it and if this question would have been more clear let's say it says if the, you know you need to make sure you are returning the top three cities but if there is a tie you don't need to count that in those three so what i'm saying is let's say san francisco and boston would have total three orders each right so and the next one is uh, let's say denver right so since these two were equal right now in currently the question does not mention any any of this right it only says hey just keep the top three cities in decreasing manner right so that is what we did but had it been the case that it would have asked that hey like you return the top three but if there is a tie then you go to the next one as well so basically the three orders where it was not tied something like that right so in that case you we must be doing the ranking function using that ranking window function and all that but here since it is not mentioned so we can go by this simple logic okay let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so now you have san francisco boston denver right let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah 
this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we did was firstly we made sure the entire information is available at one place we joined the two tables only kept those rows where status is completed because that is what we are dealing with we group by the city uh, return the city and counted the total number of total orders ordered in descending manner and kept only the top three rows right so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video